Hiya then folks, welcome to Boating on a Budget with me, the tight Yorkshireman, here on our project boat, Leander Lady. Today's task is going to be panelling out the inside of that bathroom using this gorgeous wet wall, which from a filming point of view is not going to be easy, because there's obviously not a lot of room in there, barely enough to fit me and these in, never mind a camera and a tripod. But I'll do my best to film what I can in there, and in all honesty, a lot of it is actually out here anyway, as I'm cutting these panels to shape, getting them simply fit nice and snug. This is how it is to start off with then. Just a plain plywood that we put on a few weeks ago, just to board each side out. If I just spin round, the same on that side. And just the shower pump in there. So first off, let's measure up the boards that are going on these panels and we'll get them cut to size. First job then is I need to cut this tongue off that runs all the way down here. This side is actually what's going to be up against where the door frame is so we don't need that tongue and you would see it in the longer term if we don't cut it off. Simple case, jigsaw with a nice fine cut blade, ear defenders and some steady hands. Now just need to nip inside, measure the maximum height and the maximum width. Once I've got that dimension, I can take it inside and then scribe up the exact size that I need, following any curves and slopes, etc. that are in there. Maximum height then is 190 on this side. So I'll put a pencil marks there. on this side we're not actually going to be using quite the full width but it does come very close so I'm going to cut this top section and then we can whip inside and I can measure up where the angles and cuts need to be down this edge we do have a slight get out of jail free card with this because this height takes us right up to the roof of the boat and obviously there's going to be a ceiling below that so this cut you're not actually going to see so although we want to get it accurate we don't need it fractions of a millimetre accurate This is where the filming on my own gets a little bit tricky because obviously there's not enough room for the tripod but in essence what you can see is this section here obviously needs to butt up into that corner so I've got to measure things like all these top corners in so I can sort of scribe the corners and then follow it down so that it all lines up. The one slightly tricky thing is that wall there with the window in, although it looks basically vertical, it's not, it does actually come in at a slight angle. So I need to make sure I take into account of that. And as we move down to this section, below the gunnels, the wet wall panel is only gonna come in line with there and it's gonna go straight down. This back section, we're gonna fill in with some of that nice timber, same as that back wall. These wet wall panels are going on that side there, and then if I just quickly spin round that side there, which is where the shower is going to be. And then we think probably across the ceiling, but we're not 100% sure on that. We're going to get these panels on and have a look. So basically, a bit of measuring to make sure I get that cut there, scribed properly. And then it's back outside to do more cutting.
you'll see there just the key reference points I've put a little bit of tape on that's just that as you're cutting along if you can't quite pick up the line because obviously on this way you're using a pencil it can be a bit difficult to see at least you can see kind of where your where your reference point is that's got the main bit cut out fingers crossed I'll go and slide it back in and then I think it's just going to be a case of putting this piece to the right size to go underneath that gunnel. First one cut and held in place just with a couple of clamps for now. But you can see we've got it all nicely cut down there. And that bottom bit towards the back, that's going to be covered with a piece of timber that matches the toilet and shower that we've already made. So I just need to cut one for this side. And wouldn't it be fantastic if I could just use that other one as the template, draw around it and cut that out. But unfortunately it's not that simple because nothing ever matches on about. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go and make a brew. Cut that one out and then we'll come back to you shortly. Squeeze my camera in looking the other way now and as you'll see that's that second board in with the additional cut out at the bottom there that's that the shower tray slides right up against that wall and then obviously when we seal around that wet wall that'll give a good perfect watertight seal so all that water from the shower will end up in the shower tray and then be pumped out via that pump I've now got a little bit of tweaking to do just to make sure it all sits nice and flush and then I'm going to get plenty of CT1 adhesive on there and stick that one in place much the same as this one get them both stuck and sealed and then it'll be a case of leaving it overnight and come back tomorrow and carry on there we go after a little bit of fine tuning and a whole tube of CT1 yes I've used a whole tube of CT1 adhesive on the back of there it's in place and as we can see in the corners on this edge it's clamped in place and then towards the back I've just put a couple of little chocks in place just to hold it while it sets next job is to do exactly the same on the other side just before I finished yesterday, I put the door track back up. That's for the sliding door that will obviously go between the bathroom and the living room. Today we're going to continue on doing a few bits in here. First off, I can remove that diagonal support there because we don't need that anymore. And we'll replace that with a new one as we had to finish the bathroom. But basically I need a, a new timber batten down in each corner. So one running down there and the same one running down there the problem i've got with that is the actual fixings for it because obviously that plywood that you can see there is only five mil thick it does not give a very good purchase for a screw so i think it's just going to be a case of a fair amount of ct1 stick it on and then put a couple of screws just to try and hold it in place while the ct1 goes off then we can look at getting some boards on here because that section there 
is where the shower is going to mount itself. That's those corner supports in then. And while the CT1 sets up, we're going to start measuring up and cutting the boards that are going to go over the front of there. We're going to use plywood and then obviously we're going to stain it and finish it in such a way so that it matches in with everything else. But that way we can get a good mounting surface for the actual shower which is going to be attached onto that bit there. Not using the wet wall partly because I'd never managed to cut a circle in it for that window. With the plywood we're going to do each side and the top and the bottom and then I'm going to make a feature around that window. So there we've got that side and that side boarded. We now need to do the same down there and up there. I'm then pretty much going to leave that boarding because trimming up around the actual windows I'm going to leave until we do the entire boat. We'll get all the boat boarded out and then do the fiddly work if you like of trimming around all these windows. Main thing is that we can get it on and sealed so that we can be getting the shower put in position. So I've now got that bottom panel on and the top one which means it's basically boarded out as we want it. It is going to need sort of trim along the bottom and obviously it's going to need those sort of tags from the framework cutting off and then like I said at some stage it's going to get framed out nicely around the window but I'm going to do that when I do all the windows. That piece up there is just holding the plywood in place just while the glue sets up that's holding it all on there. Next job then is get the undercoat out and paint it with that. We are painting these as opposed to varnishing them. To be honest I never actually think that varnished or stained plywood looks quite right. It always to me just has a bit of a fake look to it if you like. So we're going to paint that in something to contrast these panels that we've put on. So I better get my paintbrush out and get the undercoat going. First coat of primer on and it's looking different already. I have decided though while I've got the primer out I'm going to take the toilet and the shower tray out of the way and I am going to do that timber at the back there. As I said the idea was that we were going to cover that in the same stuff that we've used to make the toilet and the shower tray. But I'm not sure now if it might look better all painted. So at least if I prime it, then when Dawn has a look, she can obviously make the final decision. Whether we go over it with different timber or whether we paint it all up. First coat of sky blue paint going on, covering reasonably well. Let's see how it looks after another coat. So now we've got three coats of the blue paint on. I think it's time to call it a day, but tomorrow we'll continue by probably one final coat of paint and then we will put things like the shower in position and just get it finally set up how it should be. We unfortunately can't do the ceiling just at the minute because to put the ceiling on I need to know exactly how much space the doors took up and I can't get the door on at the minute until we've got this side panelled out. But I'm sure you'll agree it is looking fantastic. That's got the shower in place. Obviously not connected up to the water yet. That's kind of the whole point of doing this work at the minute is so we can get to the point of connecting all the gas and water up. But it really is starting to look like a bathroom. Well, 
well here I am, about a week later, stood with my brew outside the boat. Which you're probably thinking, that's a bit strange considering this is a video about fitting a bathroom in there. Well, I suppose it highlights the story of showing it warts and all and us winging it. Because back then, about a week ago, I ordered a pump and a few other bits so we could get this all finished. And then parts hadn't turned up. The pump is obviously what's needed to pump the water around the system. And all that's been sent by the supplier so far are the connectors to go onto the pump. So it meant there were obviously no point just standing about doing nothing. So I've jumped onto other jobs, like just finishing off these repairs to the fiberglass that we did a few weeks ago. And it now means that it's probably going to be two or three weeks till we can actually finish that bathroom as we need to wait for them parts and then I need to sort out with Ben when he can actually come and fit them. Hopefully then you've at least liked this first section of us fitting the bathroom because it's sort of taking shape. Main thing to do now is add that all important running water in there. I guess you're already subscribed to the channel and I hope you've already dinged that little bell so you get notifications each time we put a post on. And every time we do put a post and a video on, that means something else has happened on this project. I'll leave it there then, and I'll see you all later folks. Bye bye.